lions are the kings of the jungle, sharks rule the ocean, but in the world of animal facts, it's misinformation that reigns supreme. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In today's installment, we're counting down the five myths about Fauna that had us expelled from the animal kingdom. I'll open the fridge. You hit the lights. Bats are attracted to light. Fly in the fridge, I close the door, and a story. That's moths, you dumbass, not bats. Oh, yeah. Myth number five, goldfish have a memory span of three seconds. Jeez, woman, you have the memory of a goldfish. Are you suddenly filled with a sense of dread as you remember all those terrible things you've done in front of your goldfish? You know, back when you had that false sense of security that all was forgotten three seconds later? Well, your fish remembers it, all of it. That time you ate an extra large pizza by yourself, the phase you went through when you'd watch home decor shows naked. All right, ugly naked guy. <laughs> all right, maybe your goldfish isn't putting together a scandalous tell-all biography about all your most embarrassing living room exploits, but they do have pretty good memories. In fact, their memory is considered better than the average fish. Goldfish have been shown to recognize a master over other humans and respond to certain colors or shapes. <laughs> Happy hour! <laughs> Myth number four, bees die after they sting you. There's nothing worse than a bee sting when you're a kid, or any time, really. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! But there was always one source of comfort you would turn to, the knowledge that the bee was dead, because the only thing sweeter than honey is revenge. And knowing that the bee's stinger rips out, resulting in its own death, took the sting away just enough to get you through the healing process. Well, bad news for all you bee haters out there. The only bee that dies after stinging you is the common honeybee and that is only one of roughly 20,000 known bee species. For the other 19,999 out there, they sting you and then they go on their merry way. Myth number three, baby birds will be rejected by their mothers if you touch them. There's no sense of regret more powerful than finding out you could have been playing with baby birds your whole life and totally missed out. Well, we've got more bad news coming your way. Although mothers won't abandon their young simply because you've left your scent on them, you should never touch baby birds or go near their nest. The mother is usually nearby and may viciously attack you if you get too close. If you spend too much time close to the nest, you also risk drawing the attention of local natural predators to the fact that there's a nest there. So keep your distance and stick to the binoculars. Life as a baby bird lover is just one disappointment after another. Myth number two, bats are blind. Nope, someone must have messed up their research on this one. Blind as a bat, classic sayings can't be wrong. Well that poor girl is blind as a bat. Well, here's the actual scoop. Bats, as most people know, use echolocation to navigate at night, and their echolocation is the primary means of orienting themselves spatially, meaning they can find their way in even the darkest of spaces. The thing is, they also have functional eyes. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Some bats use a combination of echolocation and sight, relying more heavily on sight the brighter it gets. Fruit bats are actually known to have great vision, much better than that of humans, and do not echolocate whatsoever. Myth number one, bulls react aggressively to the color red. In practice, we don't hit the fellows with the red shirts on. I know, coach, but I see that red, I just want to go after it like a bull, you know? You feel betrayed, you're not sure where to direct it, and that's understandable. When you feel lied to, it's only natural that you start seeing red. But if bulls don't actually loathe the color red, how did we ever develop such a weirdly specific myth? Well, matadors and bullfighters have always used their capes to entice a bull into charging, and those capes have traditionally been red to mask bloodstains. You may be wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. Historians assume that this myth naturally grew out of that association. Bulls aren't attracted to red. In fact, they're colorblind. What are you, deaf? What are you, colorblind? Whoa! Wow. What they're attracted to and respond aggressively to is rapid movement. The myth that bulls respond negatively to the color red is just a cultural association blown wildly out of proportion. You should excuse the expression, red flag in front of bull. So be honest, how many of these myths did you believe? For more top 10s and top 5s that make you question everything you know, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Ah!